when you start chasing plays on the field, um, it's never a good thing. So I think that's been the problem, um, especially defense on a, um, in, in the second half. Um, you know, I see a lot of things where they talk about leadership. You know, being disciplined on Sundays and doing your job, it don't have nothing to do with leaders. Um, you know, I feel like we got a lot of great uh, leaders in this locker room. Um, leading can only get you so far. Everyone have to be able to do their job, but also be disciplined doing their job. So I think that's been a problem. We have to get over that hump of people need to stop trying to chase plays, including myself, and just make the play to come to you. And um, I said, Denard touched on it even today. Just be more disciplined. You mentioned I'll leaders. I'll for you guys. Sorry about Thanks, that. Jeff. <laughs> You mentioned leaders. You're reportedly losing a leader in DeAndre Hopkins. What, what do you lose there on offense and also in the locker room? I mean, yeah, we all knew what D-Hop brought to the team. Um, but then another day, like I said, I, you know how this thing go. You know, players come and go. Um, we're going to miss him for sure for his presence and what he brought to the team. But, you know, we won in five. Um, I think the focus need to be on the guys in the locker room, how can we be a better le uh, leaders, th especially throughout the week? Just focus on the small details and focus on everyone just being disciplined, doing their job. I think that's needed to be the focus um, going forward. But like I said, we we lost um, two good players today, um, including Ernest. You know, gonna miss playing with him the little time that we had. You know, another guy that had major respect for it just over the small time. But you know, have full confidence in the guys that. Well, been here before him, like Jack Gibbons and um, the way he carried himself and professionalism. I think, you know, we shouldn't miss a beat. Um, and the great part about it, you know, especially on defense, you know, our record don't show it, but I mean, we still the number one defense. And that's the exciting part about it, that we playing so much good defense, but not great defense. And I, like I said, just the small things and the details and the, um, the discipline could lead us um, to a better record than what we got right now. So. Is this the best offensive line you've seen all year? Um, yeah, they work good together. They are better in the offensive line. I would say, um, I mean, especially interior and, and the offensive tackles, they're pretty good. And, then, you know, they, they run the ball pretty dang good. Uh, they got two explosive running backs. But, man, you know, we don't fear no one. At, at the end of the day, our job as a defense to go out there and play our, um, our style. You know, when we came in this morning, we would normally get keys from Denard, but at the end of the day, we have to play our style of football. If we play our style of football, aggressive, you know, disciplined football, good eyes, you know, we, we'll come out this game the way we want to come out of it. So, um, like I said, they are veteran offensive linemen. They're pretty good. They work good together. But at the end of the day, it's about us. That's what we have to get back to, especially here in, um, in Tennessee. Stop focusing on everything on the outside and get back to focus on everything about the Tennessee Titans. Did you get a chance to see DeAndre and Ernest before they left? And if so, what you tell them? You know, I saw Ernest this morning. I don't think D Hop came in, but I saw Ernest. I don't think he had an idea that it's going that that was about to happen because he was in this team meeting, he was in the um, uh, defensive meeting, and um, I didn't even get a chance to. You know, I don't like I said, it just happened. We was at the walkthrough, and I didn't see him at the walkthrough, so I think it happened right around that time. But you know, I did FaceTime DeAndre, told him I'm wishing him the best of luck. But like I said, it's time to move on. Uh, like I said, we we won in five. I think that's my focus on right now. How can I help this team get back to on track where we want to be at? Try to get in two and five this week. You've been in the league for a while. I mean, what's it like on a day like today when you've got guys leaving who have been with you uh, up to this point? Um, I mean, it's a it's a, a moment where you can kind of, you know, look back and reflect on, you know, the NFL is a business. At the end of the, at the end of the day, this is a business, and 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 that's pretty much what it was today. How do you keep it from affecting the way this team views the way it does business on a daily basis? Um, it's the thing that we preach every day. You know, control we can control. Coach said it today. Um, you know, coaches are going to coach, players are going to play, and and everything else is out of our control. A situation where everybody feels like they got to do more with, with less, I guess? Um, I feel like, yeah, pretty much everybody feel like we could step up, you know, do more in our roles and, you know, help us digging out of this hole. What's the challenge this week against maybe one of the best teams in the league? Uh, we got to be physical. Um, we got to be ready to fight. And um, it's going to be a tough week, but we got to be, be ready to go out there and compete. Cody, what do you guys think you can do, you know, to perform better in the second half? Uh, you guys had a good first half last week, and second half seeing things didn't go as well. Um, we just gotta, you know, control what we can control and eliminate us beating ourselves. 
you know, eliminate the turnovers, um, eliminate the penalties, things like that, especially in the red zone where you got, you know, penalties turned seven into three. So uh, we just got to, you know, quit beating ourselves and, and, you know, we'll be good. Tony, where some of the reported moves kind of indicate a look toward the future, how do you guys stay focused and bought in on the now? Um, just, just as I was saying earlier, you know, um, coach is going to coach, players going to play. So all we can do is go out there, you know, work hard each and every week, you know, try to get a win and, and let the business take care of itself. Tony, just joining now, but I don't know if you've been asked this, uh, Callahan kind of mentioned you as one of the leaders on this offense. How do you describe your leadership qualities and how you lead? Um, I would say I'm a guy that leads by example. Um, I'm not the most vocal guy. Um, not a rah-rah guy, but, you know, when I come in every day, I'm going to work. Uh, I'm not really going to complain about much. I'm going to push myself to the limit day in, day out. And, um, you know, just let the other guys see that. And, you know, just, just let them carry on from there. Ernest Jones obviously quickly formed a team. What are your thoughts on losing a guy like that? Uh, I mean, it's just unfortunate, man. Um, yeah, um, I'm definitely sad about it. Um, I feel like, you know, that was, that was my dog, um, sidekick, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, but you know, I, I enjoy playing the game of football with that guy. Um, he he's a, a great person, um, great teammate, um, and so um, he's definitely gonna be missed. You lose somebody like that, you bond it with, and then you combine that with the optimism from the beginning of the year to now. Like, how do you continue to plug through and do what you have to do? Well, I mean, the mission is still the mission, um, and so you know, you know, when I signed here, it was it was to play you know great defense and be one of the best in the league, and so. On the mission, the mission doesn't change. Um, you know, you know, we're still focused on the mission of, of being the best defense in the NFL um, and just trying to do that every week, week in, week out, and get wins. Um, and I'm still focused on, on just being the best I can be. Um, and so, um, yeah, like I said, the mission don't, don't change. You know, Jerome Baker by chance? Uh, I, I know of him. Um, I, I've seen him a couple times. Um, seen him here when we uh, had the joint practices. Um, we had a couple conversations. So I'm looking forward to uh, you know meeting him um, and, and getting out there together. In your eyes, what finds success through adversity for this team. What does that look like? Um, I think for us it's just it's just a one week at a time approach. Um, you know, staying focused on the process um, every week, just trying to, you know, get better in that. Um, and then ultimately going out there, you know, doing the best we can um, and playing up to our standards. Um, and just doing that one week at a time. I think, you know, if we do that, then we'll slowly climb our way out of this hole um, and we'll have something that we're proud of. But I think if we start looking big picture and start thinking about, you know, what things may look like and, you know, you just kind of get distracted. So right now it's just kind of keep the world small, focus on the process and one week at a time. What's it say about just the effort of the individual players on this unit that you guys, despite the one and five record, is still the top ranked defense in the league? Uh, I mean, that's just our standard. Um, you know, we, we talked about it in the offseason when I got here um, and when, you know, the coaches got here. Um, you know, it's, it's been our standard, um, but uh, we also know that it's a lot for us to improve on. Um, and so um, we're focused on, on making those improvements, focused on playing more discipline in the scheme um, and just trying to be the best. So, yeah. Uh, what kind of challenge does Detroit um, bring with their offense? A lot of weapons. I know Jamal's going to be out, but, uh, you know, St. Brown and golf and, and, and the two yeah. running backs. Yeah, no, they do a good job. They definitely have a lot of weapons. Um, I think, you know, the OC, uh, he does a good job in scheming things up. Um, you know, the backs are good, uh, receivers are good, um, and then obviously the quarterback. The quarterback has been been good in the league for a while, so um, it's going to be a tremendous challenge for us. Um, we're going to have to stay dis disciplined. Um, we're going to have to execute our game plan. Is that kind of, I don't want to say like a wake up call, that's a dumb thing to say, but just, you know, kind of, do you do you look at it as, as a way of, okay, we got to kind of get going here and start stacking some wins? Nah, I wouldn't say that. I mean, it's part of the league. That's what it is. That happens every day. I mean, guys end up out of here, I would say, all the time, man. That's just business. That's the business side of it. I would say some guys here, then they're gone the next day. We just have to keep moving on. That's nothing we can do about it. That said, how much does it hurt to lose a guy like D-Hop on the offense? I mean, he was a guy I feel like I looked up to, guys who can compete with and everything. But that's just how it is. It's part of the game. I wish him good luck and everything. And that's how I go. For you guys, rather, obviously, it doesn't matter who's on the team. you got an opponent coming up, so no matter what. Mm. From the second half of the Bills, what do you guys kind of take away as far as what was kind of going wrong there? And then, no, it wasn't just one day. We got to finish, I would say. Um, we started off good, beginning of the half. But it's just that second half, we just got to do better. Um, we were on the same page. We weren't exactly how we was. We got to start off and finish like that.